greasy foot, and his gang of renegades are holed up just outside of Clinton. Bring him in. I want lazy foot. And this time we're going to get him. Captain Reese Bennett, now stand tall, show proper respect. What's right, Chad? I do beg your pardon, Captain. So oh, you guys. Now, gentlemen, we got us something of a problem. Captain, sir, acting Captain Bennett, we have something of a problem, too. And you being such a bright, intelligent, understanding man, we came to ask your assistance. Well, you just set on your problem till we take care of mine. Yes, sir. Anything you say. Now. I've been thinking about this senator. The captain's bringing back here with him. And I've come up with some very good ideas. Now, the senator's going to want to look the company over. And if he's looking, we got to show him something. How about that new little blonde that's working over the Laredo Saloon? Not them kind of things. The kind of things I mean is like painting up this here office. You sure the captain would like that, Reese? Of course he would. Of course he would. And I got it figured out foolproof. We even got the paint the captain picked out himself. What paint? The paint the captain bought for the sable. Freeze, that's red paint. The captain picked it himself. Well, he picked out his horse, too, Reese, but, uh, but that don't mean he wants him in the office. <laughs> Maybe so. Reese, I don't think we ought to do any paint. Now, to get back to that proposition, John... I ain't no one idea, man. I got more. Now, you hold on. Oh, yes, sir. What else you got, Captain? Well... I figured the senator would like to see how rangers get things done. Like catching an outlaw or something. Oh, Reese, you're not planning to let somebody out of the calabash. No, no, no. Nothing like that. Nothing like that at all. What I figured was to have Joe pull a bandana over his face and then come riding down the street a hooping and a hollering and a shooting. Then you and me, we run out and we shoot high. Joe makes like his head falls off his horse. Then we go out, pick him up, tote him to the doctor's house real quick like before anybody sees who he was. Now, I'm sure that'd make that senator set up and take notice, wouldn't it? And what happens if somebody else starts shooting at me? We just get out there first, that's all. You do the riding, I'll do the shooting. Now, how's that sound? Now, Joe, that's the acting captain. He can't do nothing like that. Well, now, he's not going to be acting captain that long. Because Captain Parmalee's coming back. Besides, I'm not so sure that's a very good idea in the first place. Why well, nobody going to believe a story like that anyway? Well, we got to do something to help the cat. I think we can. Matter of fact, I know we can. That's just what Joe and I have been trying to talk to you about. Reese, you still got that $40 hid away? And it's going to stay hid. Oh, he don't want to help a cat anyway, Chad. Let's go. Ha. Now, one minute, one minute. Why do you want to know about that $40? Oh, just forget about it, Reese. Hold on. What do you want that 40 for? Uh, well, Will and Pat Brannigan are back in town, and they're looking for a friendly game of poker. Yeah, well, they took you real good last time. Hey, move this time. Well, you ain't staking yourself in my 40. I'll tell you that right Reese, now. Reese, it's not for myself. It's for the so Rangers. It is, sure it is. Reese, now listen. I'm planning to, to win a pile of money, and I'll pay you back your $40 plus 40 more dollars just for having faith in me. And then Joe and I were going to take all the rest of that money... And throw a big party for the senator. Well, shucks, Reese. We was even going to say it was you that threw that party. Well, well you being an acting captain and all. And we know that you don't want any personal glory, and it'll come out just like you planned. I mean, the senator will have a good impression of the Rangers, and nobody will get hurt in the doing of it. Now, what do you say? Where are them Brannigans? Just uh, sitting in that saloon waiting for us. Let's go. <laughs> now, hold on, Captain. Now, you think you can leave this post tonight? Now, what happens if something important comes up? Ain't nothing important gonna come up tonight. Besides, I ain't gonna let you out of my sight with that $40. Let's go get them Brannigans. <laughs>
time did you say we'd reach Laredo, Captain? About dust. I've been noticing that medal of yours, Senator. I, I've never seen one like it. Oh, yes, well, that was designed for me by the men of my command when I retired from the Army. A Colonel John Sparks, with deepest regards from the men of the 22nd Regiment. They must have held you in great esteem. Oh, they did. Well, <laughs> I was a demanding officer, but a just one. That's the secret of being a leader of men, probably. Well, I, I try to maintain a, a good relationship with the men under my command. Discipline. That's the thing. Rigid discipline. And an unswerving dedication to duty. That's what molds a strong fighting unit. My rangers are the best fighting unit in the state of Texas, Senator. I hope you can convince me of that, Captain Parmley. When I get back to Austin, I'd like to recommend to my constituents that they allocate the additional funds you've requested. It'll be money well spent. My rangers have made this entire area safe, and I intend to keep it that way. Well spoken, Captain. He's got to make you a dead hero. Hey, you look a little pale in there. Why don't you get out here and get some sun? Nothing up here. Looks like we just had a dry run. Hey, you with the fine feathers, come over here. I think you should know, sir, that you're talking to a Texas state senator. I think you should know you're talking to a Texas state thief. Come on over here. Sir, I warn you, that medal's of great importance to me. Well, there ain't maybe more than $10 worth of gold in it for me. But it's better than nothing. Take the team. Parmalee. Yes, Senator? What time is it? I don't have a watch. Neither do I. Just what was it you were saying about your rangers making this area safe? Jacks. That's not enough. <laughs> no, wouldn't that just tear you up? <laughs> you uh, trying to tell me something, mister? I'm trying to tell you it's about time me and my baby brother win a pot. Oh, that seems reasonable, but uh, three queens do beat three jacks, you know. Maybe those three queens didn't get into your hand by accident. Could be you're a little slick-fingered when you deal. Hey, there. Could be you, uh... You ought to put that big sticker away, part. Well, sir, uh, those two fellas there are Will and Pat Brannigan. 
They got in a card game with us and lost a lot of money. Then they accused Dad of cheating. One thing led to another, and the first thing I know... Hey, uh, hey, Jim. Well, uh, when did you, when did you get in, sir? We just got in in time for your little street brawl. Say, what, what happened to your arm there, Captain? I got shot, Reese. That's what happened to my arm. Well, where's the stage? The stage was abandoned, and the horses run off by the thieves who stopped us. You got held up? And while we were being held up, you and your friends were out of the town carousing. We walked all night, all the way from Donovan's Cut. Senator, if you'll follow me, I'll fix you up with a nice bed and bath. You three stick around. I, I've got a few words for you. I'd like to right say... Right this way, Senator. You know, it's bad enough we got held up, then I got shot, and then we walk all the way back into town, and then we find the three of you fighting in the street. Well, it was... It was just one of those nights, Captain. I mean, uh, that game just seemed to go on and on, and, uh, well, the Brannigans just wouldn't give it up without a fight. All right, all right. It's the Brannigans' fault. Now, the point is... We gotta fix the damage that's been done. Either we impress the senator with what we're doing here, or he's gonna make it mighty rough on us when he gets back to Austin. Well, you just tell us what you want, Captain, and we'll get right to it. Well, after I get a little rest, the first thing I want you to do is, you know, kind of make yourselves look really presentable. And then, oh, after you get through with that, I... I want you to clean up the barracks. And then when I wake up, I want to see three of the neatest, sharpest looking ranges in the whole outfit. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> How's the captain? Still asleep. I guess that wound really took it out of him, huh? It did. So it's up to the three of us to start making it up to the senator. And I suppose you have something special in mind, huh? Yep. First off, we're going to take the senator to breakfast. Breakfast? That's right. So the two of you get over to that dining room, and you give the cook five dollars, and you tell him to whip up the best batch of steak, eggs, hot biscuits, and coffee of his life. All right. Now, I'm going over to the senator's room. Give him a formal invitation from the rangers. That sounds like a good idea. Bring your five bucks, boy. We'll go pay that cook. Bring my five, Joe. I'll cut you high card. Low card pays the cook. That's cool. Have a card. Like I said, I'll, uh, I'll bring my five bucks and we'll pay that cook. Senator? Oh, thank you. Please, Senator Table. Right this way, Senator. What are you doing, Will? Take a look. Good morning, Senator. Good morning. A mighty elegant breakfast they're eating on our money. While we go hungry. I don't think we'll let them eat that breakfast, Will. Huh? Neither do I. Senator, 
You ready for a Texas breakfast ranger style? <sighs> Fire away. Oh, my great dad! You all right, Senator? Take go of me! Oh, Senator, I, I, I am so, sorry. Senator, what, what happened? Excuse me, Captain. I'm going back to Austin. That's what's happened. You know what you've done? Do you have any idea? But, Cap, wait Shut up, me. Reese. Sparks is leaving on a noon stage for Austin. When he gets back to the Senate, he is going to muster the Rangers right out of existence. Well, Captain, we didn't know that. Up. There's only one thing to do. Go to Austin with the Senator, try and talk to him, calm him down. Good idea, Captain. Just what we'll do. What we'll do? I wouldn't let the three of you within shouting distance of the Senator. You'll ever kill him. You stay right here in Laredo. And you'd better hope when we reach Austin that I pound him down. Because if I can't, the first thing I'm going to do when I come back here is have the three of you drawn and fired. Well, I wonder if it will do any good for Farmer Lee to go down there with that senator. I don't know. After the way those steaks and eggs slammed into the senator's face. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, we did a real good job of making an impression. Oh, sure we did. The, the Texas Rangers in action. That is it. What is it? If the senator was to really see us in action, doing what we're supposed to do, maybe he might have a change of heart. Well, Reese, unless somebody decides to rob the bank before the senator's stage leaves, that ain't likely, is it? Yeah. Well, suppose we arrange something, like a kidnapping or something. What are you talking about? Well, for instance, suppose the senator was kidnapped, say, by the Davis gang. It was probably them stopped the stage yesterday. Bill ain't saying nothing, Reese. Well, what I mean is, supposing, supposing I hired some men to mask up and pretend they were the Davis gang. Reese, the Brannigans must have jarred your brain loose. Now, you hang on a minute. Supposing this gang I hired grabbed Parmley and the senator off the stage, took them somewhere. Then the two of you come along and save them. Now, don't you think that old senator would look on the Rangers in a better light? And don't you think that we've had enough of your harebrained ideas for one day? More than enough. <laughs> Kidnap the senator. Well, we got to do something, considering what's at stake. Uh. Well. Joe. Yeah. I know what we can do. What's that? We could kidnap the senator. Chad. Yeah, that is a whale of an idea. Sure. And, and I know just the spot to make the rescue, too. The old relay station, the other side of the cut. And supposing, supposing if we get Reese to go over to the saloon and hire himself a fake gang. Good well, that's idea! What I please, said please, please, we're trying to figure this thing out now. Not easy, boy. Easy. Now, look. While Reese is hiring himself that fake gang, you and me could ride to the old line shack just this side of the relay station. And that means Reese and, and this fake gang of his got to hit the stage just the other side of the line shack. Right, right. And when the stagecoach comes back to Laredo, you know, to report the captain and the senator being taken. Why? Well, then we accidentally meet it on the trail, find out what happened, back to the relay station and make the rescue. Well, now, well, now how are we going to explain what we're doing out there on the road anyway? Oh, that shouldn't be any problem. After we chase Reese and his gang off, why, well, we just tell the senator that uh, we heard the Davis Bunch was on the prowl. And we be a good rangers with a nose for trouble. Sure, why? that's it. And after a good old bone knuckling scrap with Reese and his gang, why? Why, that senator will think we're the best things that come up the panhandle since Pecos Bill and Texas Jack. Chad, boy, you are a thinker. Well, you helped out some, too. How about that, Chad? <laughs> good thinking. Good thinking. Well, thinkin'. now, what about me? What about you? You better get over to the saloon and start hiring yourself that gang. Yeah, but I mean, it was my idea. Please, to... will you quit standing around stammering and jawing? Just do it. Now, how are Joe and me going to make this thing work if you don't cooperate? Now, go on, get it. Oh, you two, you two. Go on, now get some good men. You want to what? Keep your voice down. But to kidnap a Texas state senator, it's only for a little while, and we ain't going to hurt him. Yeah, but supposing somebody should recognize us when we pull his little job. You wear a mask, just like the real Davis gang. Uh, tampering with a state senator... I don't know. Ten dollars a piece. Uh, you fellas, a lot of whiskey. Or a heck of a lot of trouble. Oh, where's the trouble? 
We take Parmley and the senator to the relay station. Chad and Joe bust in. We stage a fight, and we back up and run. Now, you with me or not? Well, the money sounds good to you. Sounds good to me. Not me. And why not? Well, I, uh, just kind of ain't for dishonesty. It ain't dishonest. It's for a good cause. Well, nothing personal. But I just got principles. Yeah? Well, I hope your principles don't force you to mention this to nobody. My lips are sealed, friend. Now, all right. The stage leaves in about a half hour. We got to give them a head start. So say we uh, pull out about 20 minutes after the stage. All right, but don't you forget our money, Reese. Oh, don't you worry about it. I'm good for it. the whiskey. No, I, I didn't get it. Why not? Well, when I went in the saloon to buy it, a Texas Ranger collared me. What? Now, now, wait a minute. Don't get excited. What did he want? Well, what he wanted was to hire me and some other fellers to pretend we was the Davis gang. <laughs> <laughs> Kidnapped a senator. And him trying to hire me to help do it. Some joke, huh? <laughs> yeah, some joke. And wouldn't it be even funnier if we were to arrange to have it backfire? Backfire? Well, it occurs to me that it'd really be to our advantage if the senator hated those rangers when he went back to Austin. Well, yeah, but that ain't likely if he figures they saved his skin. Yeah, well, suppose they don't save his skin. Suppose they get the stuffing kicked out of them when they pull into that relay station and pull their big rescue. I mean, suppose we're the ones under those masks. Are you serious? Like I said, if the senator still hates those rangers when he gets back to Austin, if he should just happen to uh, disband them, well, things got to be a lot easier for us around here. I'll go along with that. And besides, Pickens been awfully slim around here since those rangers moved in this territory. Yeah? To say nothing of the men we lost. When's that stage come? Noon. And, uh, when's the Davis gang supposed to run out after him? About 15 minutes later. Now that's wrong. The Davis gang's gonna head out right now. Come on, we got a lot of ground to cover. Let's go, let's go. We've got a kidnapping to attend to. Wait till they pass that line shack.
Not again, Parmalee. I sure do admire your taste in six guns, Captain. Well, hello, Senator. Got another medal yet? No. I intend to retrieve the one you took from me yesterday. Turn the stage. There's sure a lot of thieving going around these days. I'm becoming increasingly aware of that. Now, if you two will join us. Just where you figured on taking us. Let it take all the surprise away. Mount up. Hey, Reese, I got him. Well, you come on. We're late. Look, look, Reese, you owe me money and I want it. I told you to tell the store and pay them off. I went to the store and they told me the same thing, but they want cash and I... All right, all right, I'm good for it. Now, here, tie these around your neck so you can pull them up tight and around your face when the time comes. Now, here, put them on. Now, what's the matter? I don't like red. Put it on. Matches your eyes. We stop in here. I hear the food's good. and the senator kidnapped not more than five minutes ago you don't say well you better get on back to laredo and let everybody know what happened well, where are you two going we're going out after the captain and the senator and we're gonna bring them back yes and you can tell everybody that too we're gonna bring them back now go on scoop <laughs> just don't seem to be able to be at the right place at the right time, do they? Yeah. Okay, entertainment's over. Let's go. Oh, Senator. Yeah. 
You know, if it wasn't for Parmalee and his boys, I don't know what we'd do for laughs around here. Come on, let's go. Try some of this. Why do we stop here? Those are Joe and Chad's horses. Kill boy, didn't he, Jarvis? Pretty near, I think. Now, let me get this straight. You mean to tell me there's already been a fight here? You mean to tell me you weren't in on it? That's just what I'm telling you. Jarvis, did we or did we not nearly get our brains caved in right here in this room? You did, man, you did. Who? Uh, was the captain and the, and the senator here while all this was going on? Front row ring, sadly. Right there. You mean to say the captain and the senator was already off that stage when we chased them past here? Well, they must have been, Reese. Because they were here when we got here. Well, where are they now? Well, that's easy. The Davis gang, they got them. <sighs> By the way, uh, what gang are you in? I think I'm in a whole gang of trouble. the matter. I just wondered what you plan on doing with those two anyway. Well, for a day or so, I thought I'd make a fool of Parmalee, and when I figured the senator's had enough of that, Ernie's generally disgusted with the Rangers, and you take him and see he gets headed back to Austin. Think we ought to put blindfolds on him before we get too close to camp? No, oh, no, the senator couldn't find his way out of a paper bag, and Parmalee isn't going to live long enough to tell anybody what he's seen. All right, let's ride! taking Parmalee and the senator out in this no man's land. I don't know. We better find out in a hurry. Let's go.
just... just dropped out of sight. Maybe that's where they've been holing up. The only way up there is that one-horse trail, too. Well, I sure wish we'd have caught them out in the open prairie. It's liable to be fierce getting to them up there. Well, we better get to them up there. I got a feeling if either the captain or the senator gets hurt, it's gonna wind up being our fault. Well, it ain't our fault they decided to kidnap at the same time we did, is it? Hey, you know, that coincidence bothers me. I got a notion that the two of those things are connected somehow. Well, I sure don't see how. I don't see how either. We ain't got time to figure it out right now. Let's get going. Here, Joe. Stay us out, Davis. I'm gonna make you swallow that gun. <laughs> you know, one thing about these rangers, their mouths always work. Giles, fix us some coffee, man. Well, relax. Now that you've got us in this pigsty that you call home, what do you intend doing to us? We're just gonna kill a little time, Senator. Better walk from here. Here. We gotta find a way to take them nice and quiet. Yeah, that's a rough climb. We'll see. But I reckon maybe one of us can get up there above him. Huh. All right, let's draw for it, okay? All right. Yeah. Got some straws there, Reese? Short strong goats. Hmm. Wouldn't you know it? <laughs> You knock him off of there. Joe and I will head up the trail. All right. What's the layout? Well, there's one more sentry down below. Where's the rest of them? Well, there's two in the shack, ten in the horses, and 
I guess a couple more in the main cabin, watching the senator and the captain. Uh -huh. Well, is there any way to get to the cabin without telling that sentry? Not likely. Gonna have to suck him out of the way. You, uh, got any ideas? Guess I'll have to start a ruckus. Draw him up this way. Give you guys a chance to get around the rim and make a go at the cabin. Okay. Give us a minute. I will. I'm going to try from here, Joe. I'll go on to the falls. the senator and the captain. Armily, tell those boys that you just back off this mountain. Or I'll put a hole in that senator of yours there. Eh? He's bluffing. You better believe I'm not. Get up! My men will know he's alive. All right. Joe, Chad, hold your fire. Why, Reese, he doesn't even know you're here. He thinks it's Joe and me. Nah, could be he does know. Could be he just wants them to think there's only the two of you. Well, where is Joe? Ducked under the back of the house. Look him up, man. Joe? Yeah, Captain. You and Chad had better back off. They might kill the senator. No idea in the world you could fight like that. I didn't indulge in this sort of rolling in the army, but when somebody steals my medal, 
<laughs> I'm uh, heading back to Laredo with a senator. Let everybody know he's safe. You three clean up the debris. I'll see you in a few hours. We'll senator. bring him in, Captain. Here you go. Oh, yeah. Nice talk. Yeah, the stage is supposed to have left three minutes ago. Well, things are run kind of loose and easy around here, Senator. Punctuality is a virtue, Captain. Of course, I must admit that you and your rangers, despite your lack of discipline, do seem quite capable when you finally get to the heart of the matter, so to speak. Oh, it's all in the way you approach the job, Senator. Since I owe you my life, I can hardly argue. I'll express my gratitude still further when I get back to the Senate. Thank you, Senator. Goodbye, men. Thank you. Bye, Senator. about that stage getting hit by the Davis gang again. As long as we uh, keep them behind bars. What about the other Davis gang? The other Davis gang, Captain? Yes, Reese. The one you hired. It seems when you were recruiting in the saloon, you tried to sign on one of Davis's men. A fellow by the name of Giles. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I noticed that Giles fellow when we brought him in. Reese, please. Tell me you didn't do this to us. Well, how was I supposed to know? Reese, we nearly got our heads kicked in on that relay station. Oh, what happened to you at the relay station is nothing. When you get through with the extra duty I've got lined up for you, you'll wish you died there. But, Captain, we didn't know. Don't butt Captain me. The senator was right. What this outfit needs is a little discipline. Now, the first thing you're going to do is paint the barracks. Then you're going to paint the stables. Then you're going to fence the area. Then you're going to break in some new horses. And then you're gonna fix the roof, and then you're gonna wash every sock, shirt, and blanket in sight. Is that all, Captain? Is that all? Oh.